to the last Kia D Unplugged show for 2021. I am super excited, like seriously, that we're going to see 2022. Major things popping, big things happening in 2022. Welcome to the Kia D Unplugged show. I am your host, Kia D. For those of you who know anything about weddings, you know, um, with weddings, you know, you have, of course, the bride and the groom, and then the bride and the groom have the option to, of course, bring in groomsmen and bridesmaids, so on and so forth. Well, um, there's a, a news article, shout out to Yahoo News. I love Yahoo News. Um, uh, there was a, a model, uh, actually. She was uh, invited to her friend's wedding to be a bridesmaid. All of a sudden, her friend uninvited her to be a bridesmaid after she saw her in the dress that she was supposed to wear to the wedding and it looks like the bride thought that the bridesmaid was going to upstage her so she told her not to come let me tell you more about this story so a woman her name is elena yildiz she's 21 years old and she's a model from uh heidenberg germany and she actually was set to be a bridesmaid in her close friend's wedding and she said she was uninvited after looking quote unquote too good in the dress that the bride chose for her okay now she took to her tiktok earlier this month um to share the story with her audience she's got about 170,000 followers and in the video she posted on december 13th <clears throat> had uh, about 10 million views of the writing and she wrote, my close friend uninvited me to her wedding because she thought I looked too good in the dress she chose for me. Um, the video actually continued with images of the dress that she was supposed to wear. And she put in the caption, still took some fire pics in it, though. Um, she also, uh, Yelidez, y- 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 I'm going to call her by her first name, which is, uh, <laughs> yeah, because I keep saying her last name wrong, Elena. So Elena actually told Insider um, that she was due to be a bridesmaid at the wedding in early December alongside five other uh, women before her friend said she felt upstage. Um, She said, quote, unquote, that's why she chose such an extravagant dress for me. All of our other friends wore extravagant dresses as well, but she only had a problem with me. Uh, Elena said the blue, she she said the blue and tan and bezel dress was designed by Albina Dalla. Uh, and it cost about $1,360, which each bridesmaid had to pay for their own uh, out uh, their own dress. The tulle dress uh, had a corset with a mermaid neckline and leaf detail- detailing, as well as thigh-high side slits. Uh, the model said she went a uh, video of herself wearing the dress for the bride, whose identity Elena said she didn't want to disclose. Um, And so she said she sent this video to her shortly before the wedding. Um, She called me and told me about her insecurities with my dress and that it was too attention-grabbing. She was very angry about the whole situation and ended up uninviting me after the call. We got into a fight because, uh, and this is according to uh, Elena, these are all her words. She said they, uh, they got into a fight because it made no sense to me since she chose that dress herself. Um, she said um, that uh, she, she, she uh, Elena added that she thought the bride should have chose a different dress if she was worried. Um, well, with little time to find a new dress and having argued with her friend, Elena didn't attend the ceremony. Uh, she added, uh, she said that while she uh, was no longer friends with the bride, losing her had uh, made her sad. She said um, it made me feel like I had no value to her as a friend. Um, she said she talked about the wedding for years with her, and she was so happy with her friend to finally be uh, with the love of her life and celebrate with her. And she added that the bride called her after seeing the TikTok video, and they argued further. Elena acknowledged that the bride 
it has every right to make her request, such as asking her, uh, such as asking that no one else wear white to the wedding. But she urged others to properly communicate the rules to avoid disagreements such as this one. She added, the feelings of competition or jealousy only serve as a to- uh, to- serve to create a toxic relationship. Um, she another woman's beauty doesn't make your beauty fade. And I wish more people would understand that, according to Elena. So, listen, if you I, I, y'all can come to my wedding, beautiful. It don't matter to me because your girl Kia D is gonna hold it down either way. Okay, I'll be the bell of the ball, bell of the ball. I'm excited. Um, to my fiance, to my he's absolutely amazing, and we will be married in July of 2022. So I'm very excited about that. Um, we want a huge wedding, but of course, due to the pandemic, we're going to make it smaller than usual and um, still keeping with COVID rules and regulations and restrictions, all that good stuff. But we're gonna have a good time and do what we do. I appreciate you for the past 11 years continuing to make We Talk Radio the number one listening station. And let me tell you something, this Black-owned, woman-owned network needs your help. We need you to tell somebody about us. We need you to tune into our shows every single time we go live, every time time we put up a podcast. We need you to support us every single time. Tell somebody about us. It doesn't matter if it's your neighbor, your children, your boss, your frenemies, enemies, it doesn't matter. Let them know we got something good going on over here. A lot of times you guys go to program, watch programs for the drama. I get it. I'm all about the drama every now and then, too. But that's just not who We Talk Radio is. We're an encouraging, powerful, empowering, empowering type of network. And that's what we love to do, motivate, inspire, entertain, all that good stuff. So check us out every day of the week, wetalkradio.com. We've got something for everyone, men shows, youth shows, inspirational, motivational, news, hot topics, you name it. It is going down right here on We Talk Radio. And if you haven't heard it, bring it here. If you have a podcast, if you're a, a, a blogger or a journalist, let us know. We want to hear your stories. We want to, you to write your stories right here for us. We are definitely becoming the number one in internet radio station globally, and we're really excited about it. And we want you to be a part of our team. And you can do that by going to wetalkradio.com. And it doesn't matter where you're located at. We've got team members all over the globe. So that's a good thing about us. Um, you can be remote. This is how we it works. It works so well for us like that. Um, but check us out, wetalkradio.com. Go to that Contact Us tab, and you'll be able to connect with us there. Again, I am personally, I'm Kia D. I am the founder and president of the organization, and I had a vision many years ago, and it is so awesome to continue to see the vision and the dream realized inside of so many other people people who've just tuned in, people who've come in, in, in and um, been a special guest, people who have hosted on this network or volunteered or interned or been management staff or been on the board. or It doesn't even matter. I just want to say thank you so much to our youth who outstandingly did an amazing job all year long, hands down, best year ever, kiddos, seriously. Y'all are absolutely amazing. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for continuing to make this station the number one listening station of all time. And to my incredible assistant, the little Riley, Riley D, we appreciate you so very much. Riley, why don't you come in here and say hello? Of course, you just emceed the second annual Youth on the Move to Hill Charity Shoe Fashion Show. Come on in and say hello. This is the last show for the 2021 season right here on the Kia D Unplugged Show. Come on in. Hello, hello, hello. They can't hear you oh. all the over there. You got to speak into the mic. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everyone is having a good 2020 and I know every, oh, 2021. Nah. I know everyone is ready for the year of 2022. Um, good luck. <laughs> Thank you so much, Riley D. Y'all can check her out every summer on the Ken and Rise show. She's a host and producer and a co-host and a co-producer actually on the show. The show is entitled The Ken and Rye Show. Her and Kennedy and Destiny actually see and produce the show together, and they are 15, 16, and 21 years old. They're awesome. That show airs every single summer from June to August, 
And then, of course, there's Friday Night Hype with DB. She's our uh, she's also one of our youth producers here and hosts on the network. She has a college-based show, so all of the college kiddos can come on through and tune in and hang out and have a good time with DB every summer from July to August. So check us out, all of the amazing everything that we have to offer. It's just so awesome. And again, I'm just so super grateful and blessed and highly favored. Shout out to Shop from the Bottom Productions, who's our production team, who does our video and photography for our events, for our live events um, that we do. And um, to T. Smiley, who's just absolutely extraordinary, our director of operations and can't do what I do without him. He's awesome. He's my rock and my right hand. E-Man and Mandy and Emily Blue and um, and Deanne Lax and Pastor Jeremy Glenn. I thank you all so very much. Mitchell Ayed, Rallos, and Alonzo, thank you all so much for everything you, you do um, for the network and beyond. Um, to Juana Rodriguez and Autumn Fage, Keely Messino, Caitlin Graham, and Little Paige. The list goes on. I just want to thank each and every one of you. We have some new team members that are joining the team. Um, again, just thank you so much for everything that you've done and will continue to do for the network next year. We're going into bigger and better, and I'm just excited. If I didn't mention you, I apologize to our board members. Thank you all so much for continuing to, to just push so hard for us this next year. We're going to do a major, major push, and we're expecting so much more from our board members and so much more from our team. And to take this entire network to the next level, but we're expecting something from you, our supporter as well. We need you to continue to tell people about us, support us on each of our platforms so that we can continue to take this radio network to higher heights.